I shout to all commanders in the life right now. I shout Jesus to Lauren, O commanders of Elohim. So people living in Labuk, in Indonesia, they need to leave that island. The people in Java that we have there in Java, yes, that will be two people, two special people only in Java that we have. The volcano in Java wouldn't erupt yet until the 20th hour, all right? It's time to you, Sister Maxi. It's time to you, Sister Chloe. So also, what's happening in Guatemala? So Bali, the volcano in Bali will erupt. So everything is going to happen within the 20th hour. All right. And don't ask me when the 20th hour will be, right? Obviously, you should know time, right? <laughs> okay, so welcome to my life today. So what you need to do right now is click that share button and share this live. So we're talking about our uh, greater magnitudes of earthquakes going to happen. We're looking at 10.1 for Indonesia. Yes. Looking at a 10.1 for Indonesia. We're looking at a 10.1 for Washington, D.C. We're looking at a 11.5 in the Atlantic Ocean. So there's no stopping Elohim's anger right about now. Their judgment. I'll be looking at a 8.5 for uh, Washington, D.C., for Philadelphia, for California. And those earthquakes will happen in immediate, immediate effect. We're also looking at the fire going back to Guatemala. We're looking at the um, the holy fire. Yes, the holy fire. I call it the holy fire. Then everybody else started calling it the holy fire. Before, they never used to call it the holy fire. But when I give them the warning to do mock Mama Imaya, they start calling it the holy fire. So before that, they were saying the so-called holy fire. Why mocking she? Why mocking Imaya? You know, destruction is imminent. We're looking at Greece receiving multiple earthquakes as well. So, Abba said to me just a while ago that uh, the raining, the floods that people get is to saturate the earth. The another thing that is going to happen in America, we're going to see red rainfall. Not only red rain fall, as it has already happened in Oklahoma City, it has happened in Oklahoma City where red rain did fall, as I prophesied.
this in this particular hour i'm going to say all those who will be being who will be, be who will be judged all right i try to say who will be being judged all right <laughs> Right as we start today's live, we're going to look back on all the prophecies that has unfold, the prophecies that happened in Trinidad. We're going to look back at that prophecy. We're also going to look back at what's happening in um, Nigeria, what's happening in Kenya. You're not hearing anything about the Valley Rift being teared apart even more. All right, so they fix the crack already the fix the split but yahuwah open it back again with the recent rains that they have so this is the note for all the fallen angels who listen to the to my life that yahuwah said that his judgment is coming for your neck So what you're hearing right now is the distraction of California fire. But what about the people who went into those concentration camp in America? So my question to you this morning, my brothers and sisters, is that if uh, those people went into concentration camp, FEMA camp, why it is CNN and Fox News, why are they not reporting what's the outcome of the people how are they living in the concentration camp? Or where have they vacated to? I told you, it's in FEMA camp. And you will never hear from those people who went into those concentration camp ever again.
you ready for the ripple effect? You know what is a ripple effect? Go and do a little research and see what is ripple effect or what it is in tale of. You see, Elohim's ripple, uh, ripple effect is completely different from the world's idea of what is a ripple effect. Good morning. I've been trying to go alive for a long time. Now finally get here up the opportunity to actually come live. So let's push this live viral today. I have a lot to tell you all. What's going on? What about now all around the world? All around the earth. So good morning, good evening, good night to everyone as we are live.
Good morning to you. Tara. Rena. Commander Nikki. Uh, Commander Sam. Sister Asa. Commander Sarah. Sister Diana. Hey, how to you? Uh, so read what is in the description of this slide. It's a uh, full prophecy from Elohim. It's on to my Melissa family. Big up to my Melissa family. Big up to my Philippine Army family. All right. So what you're seeing there is the volcano uh, in Hawaii. All right. I'm going to review a couple things with you before we move forward. Make sure that you can see my mouth as it moves, right? All right, so I'm just going to explain something here with this volcano. And then we're going to get into uh, the other part of the life for today. Very important. What I'm going to teach you is very, 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 very important as of this hour. All right, so let me just get things in perspective and as we get ready, all right, you can see my mouse because I can see the mouse as well, right? All right, so I'm going to explain about this volcano. Where is this volcano situated? This volcano, this particular uh, volcano is situated in Hawaii. Uh, this volcano, as you can see my mouse here, you know, I just want to show you all a mouse, right? as you can see. I don't have a fire mouse today. I didn't, you know, feel to actually change my mouse. But I'm going to show you. Let's look at where my mouse is. And you can see what I'm going to show you. All right. This is the same volcano, all right, uh, in Kapo, Hawaii. I think that's Kapo, Hawaii. I can't really remember the name. But this is the volcano that they were worshipping in Hawaii. This volcano is in Hawaii. Alright. Uh, this volcano is the crater. Alright. That was left after Abba drained out all the lava in the volcano. Note. This volcano was, the mouth of this volcano was huge. It was very huge. So what happened? Abba used the different earthquakes. You know, he used the earthquakes and stuff like that to close in the mouth of the volcano. This is the same volcano that erupted in Hawaii ever since May 3rd when that prophecy came forth that Abba said that he will never stop his work 
in Hawaii for anyone, for no one, nobody could stop his work. And uh, Abba told them to leave Hawaii. They need to leave Hawaii just like they need to leave Labuk and Bali in Indonesia. All right. So the only island that will be standing in Indonesia will be Java. All right. So from Indonesia, from Indonesian family, you know, you know who you are. The twins. <laughs> Abba said only Java will be standing. Every other island around uh, Indonesia will be destroyed. All right. Only Java will stand. All right. As for the Philippines, let me talk about all the nations one time before we jump into that. For the Philippines, the only uh, the only place in the Philippines or the only island per se that will be standing will be Jensan. All right. So Jensan will be the only island standing. Although Jensan will split. All right. Different parts of Jensan will stand. All right. What does simply mean by this? When I told you all, when I tell you all actually here, is that Jensan will be destroyed. A part of Jensan will stand. Because we have the army of Elohim in Jensan. Alright? We have the army of Elohim within the courts of Jensan. Let me just put it so. Uh, also, you should know what will happen in Davao and all, uh, and, uh, all the other islands in the Philippines will be completely destroyed. All right, by earthquakes. Not only that, but by unscheduled, um, by unscheduled tornadoes as well that will be touched down in um, the Philippine island. As for Hong Kong, what we have in store for Hong Kong right now? Now I'm speaking on behalf of Yahoo, and I'm reading from a scroll right now. Right now. I'm seeing a scroll right now before me and I am reading what is on the scroll to tell you all. Alright? So the scroll entails all the places that will be brought under judgment. All the places that will be affected by hurricanes, storms, just name it, every disaster they can think about, even the ones that don't exist, that um, NASA knows nothing about, well, I will actually bring that towards your attention because um, I need to get your attention right now, all of you attention. So, be so before we actually dive into this deeper part, what you need to do again is share this live. All right, all right. So let's go to the Caribbean. The only island that will be standing will be Trinidad, unfortunately. Tobago will be completely destroyed. Grenada destroyed. St. Vincent destroyed. We have no elects in those islands. All right. Again, the Caribbean island, the only island that will stand, all right, will be Trinidad. Tobago will be destroyed. Every other island will be crushed and will be all uh, deoriented. All right. Um, as for America, let's talk about America now. The only place in America that will stand, all right, because Abba have a plan to further his um his work in America will be Washington D.C. All right, Washington D.C. will be the only place standing. Why? Why Abba choose to keep Washington D.C. Standing because the people who believe in their enemies in their government they need to see who's their true enemy. All right, they need to be governed in the way how they're supposed to be governed with no protection from the most high. All right, as for Malaysia, I uh, have I think Malaysia is within Philippine border or not. Uh, Pat, tell me, is Malaysia far from Philippine? I don't think so. I don't think that um, Malaysia is far from the Philippines. Uh, Sister Nikki, tell me, where is Malaysia situated? Malaysia is not far from Thailand and Hong Kong, and Hong Kong is not far from Philippines. Well, all those islands. Also, uh, you are free to ask questions, of course, because I want to answer some of your questions today. All right. So. Hmm. Alright, so we have 
some devastating news to give you. So, if we read within the description of the life, you will know that Labuk will be destroyed. You know that Bali will be destroyed. You know that Guatemala and other uh, regions around Guatemala will be destroyed. You know what Mexico will be destroyed. You know what Brazil will be destroyed. Venezuela, Colombia, Cuba. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. These other islands can't remember where they are. All right. So what I'm trying to explain to you is that the closest islands together, that is where the destruction will happen. And Abba is going to use the lava balls. So what we are actually viewing here is Hawaii's crater. All right. So this is the crater in Hawaii as of right now. It could be looking a little different to you. But this is the crater in Hawaii. All right. So what if under this part? All right. So before we dive into the other part, I don't want to uh, mix it up so that they don't understand what I'm actually telling you. All right. So the mouth of the volcano is closing in. Why? Now, if you remember earlier on when I told you all that the mouth of the volcano was open widely. Oh my gosh, it had lava all, all we seen here, it had lava all here, all here had lava. Abba didn't cave in the whole volcano. That's why uh, Hawaii had 100 about, um, in five days Hawaii had 500 earthquakes. Alright, the earthquakes was to cave in the volcano, the, the crater of the, the lava. And what Abba did was he didn't make the lava balls within inside the volcano. What he did was he used fissure eight, what they call fissure eight in Hawaii. Alright, that, that is the crack that opened. Yes, Abba used that to uh, bring forth lava to create a stream. All right. So as you can see, what's really happening right now in Hawaii, as you can see, some people think that the lava, you know, it cooled down. No, it didn't cool down per se. It didn't finish because it will never stop erupting. It is for a purpose and it's for a reason. And uh, what I'm going to explain to you here today is that something that you don't know nothing about. Hawaii, um, USGS knows nothing, NASA, Skywatchers, Mark Elkin, none of them, none of them knows anything about what I'm teaching you here because they have no wisdom of Himaya and they have no love for the Creator. They are misleading others down the path of destruction, which I'm going to be talking about a little later in this said life. All right, so. We have the mouth of the volcano right here. This is in Hawaii. Alright? This is right in Hawaii here. So as you can see, this part here. Look at it good. Wow. What it looks like to you? This is a actually covering. This is the part of a use for molten rock. I've made this as a covering. It's called a screw cork. What it's called? A screw cork. It is used to cover the volcano or cover the hole where the volcano will, will um, where the chamber really is because there's a gas chamber under the volcano itself which I will be explaining to you a later 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 down in this life I will be bringing that to your attention and we will be explaining that to you as well so look at this part right here this is called a screw cork all right it is what Abba used to screw down so that if rain fall rain wind gets and mix within the molten rock or rain wind fall and mix with the methane gas in here because that could be devastating so let me just you know go over to a little physics and let me explain something to you all in that term so if rain if the rain water falls in the mouth of a volcano, what do you think happens? It doesn't weaken the molten rock. It activates electricity. It activates electricity in the uh, hole of the volcano. All right. So what does that mean? It means that if rain water pours into the volcano, it will activate something 
that Abba don't want. All right, this could cause a tectonic bomb. All right, all right. So if rainwater falls in the mouth of the lava, all right, because there's no lava coming up here anymore. So what Abba did, he created a corkscrew and cover it so that if it bring rain all right the rain wouldn't go down into the uh gas chamber where the methane gas is situated because the methane gas is under here all right all right so if rain water was to fall within the mouth and down into the gas chamber that will cause a tectonic bomb what that means is that that could affect the what Abba is doing in Hawaii. All right, it could cause deaths, and it could cause complete destruction. It could cause things to happen quickly, and Abba don't want that because if water fall into methane gas, it will cause a sort of uh, electric pulse. All right. So if it falls into the mouth of the volcano, it will cause something called an electric pulse. And what that does, that creates electricity. All right? You get electricity from that. All right? So let me say, let me say a thousand gallon of water pour down in this hole. Everywhere that this volcano is connected to, it will have an explosion. And the explosion will be worse because it wouldn't be what Abba actually want right now. All right, Abba will want want that people dead on the hands. No, that's what the enemy will want. So NASA, if you're playing stupid, all right, NASA, if you're playing stupid, and you go and pour water in Yellowstone, in this volcano, in other volcano, you will you will cause massive deaths on your hand because if you mix water and methane gas together it will cause a combustion it will cause a tectonic bomb all right it will cause things to escalate quickly all right so you don't want that all right nasa so don't go and daff here with yellowstone leave she alone don't daff here with yellowstone all right let yahuwah take his course let yahuwah's will be done whether in Hawaii, Guatemala, or wherever, don't go and daffy with these volcanoes, NASA. Don't go and daffy, you know. Don't go and daffy with these volcanoes. All right, I tell him earlier. Don't go and da and in daffy with these volcanoes. All right, because Yahuwah knows exactly what he's doing. You will never see Lucifer. Taking up himself with, a, with, uh, with some of his soldiers and going and daffy with the volcano. You know that? It's only mankind fast. You know, son? They always fast to go and touch. They want to go and touch. Or they want to go and experiment. And they want to go and see what's going to happen if they do this and they do that. Let me tell you something, NASA. Go bunks your freaking head. And go and do nothing to Yellowstone because they will cause more than just a winter storm. You understand? You will cause hell on earth quickly in just seconds. All right. So don't do that. All right, NASA. Go bust up your mouth and say you're going on. Um, you're going to stop Yellowstone from explosion. Nobody can do that. You doesn't see Lucifer go in. And in Daphne with any other volcanoes, you feel the stupid? <laughs> they will send you, NASA clowns, they will send you to experiment on these deadly volcanoes that Yahuwah created. Alright? So again, this is called a corkscrew. Alright? And if water is poured into the mouth of the volcano, it will cause a tectonic bomb. Alright? So now you know. So next thing we're going to talk about is how Abba is going to create this volcano. How he's going to create this volcano to fit the lava balls. Well, this is it right here. Alright? So when Abba caved in, this needs to be caved in a little more. It needs to be caved in a little more. So when it's caved in a little more, 
When I was ready to launch the cannonballs, he's going to remove the corkscrew. So when the corkscrew is removed, when the cork, the cork screw, not cork screw, eh? don't get up, eh? when the cork screw is removed, Abba is going to pressurize the lava balls. He's going to pressurize the cannon balls. The lava cannon balls, yes, Yahuwah is going to pressurize it, and then Yahuwah is going to launch it, alright? So this is going to be launched at America in um, certain intervals. So in 21 hours from now, 21 hours from now, we could see uh, a great explosion in lava balls. All right, Abba is going to do the same thing in La Book. All right, so what is going to happen in La Book? La Book is going to become just like how Hawaii is. You see, like how Hawaii is right now. Abba don't want to cause no deaths. All right, he don't want to cause no deaths in um, in Indonesia. All right. So what Abba is doing, he's trying to tell the people, hey, you need to leave the book. You need to leave Bali. All right. The only place that will be standing in Indonesia will be Java. All right. No other place in Indonesia will be left standing. Every other island surrounding in Indonesia, as a province as Indonesia, it will be destroyed by the earthquakes. All right. Because Abba is going to make, they're going to create a pit in Hawaii alright so what is going to happen is that you know you see the multiple earthquakes that they keep getting 6.4 6.7 7.1 and it drop back down to 4.5 5.8 you know all these earthquakes that are ascending in Indonesia is that they are actually removing the lava from inside the volcano so the lava is going to be removed just like what I do in Hawaii alright um, this Volcano is in Hawaii. All right, this is the volcano that started erupting. Yes, and Abba use a corkscrew, cork it down. All right, he seal it. It doesn't mean it's sealed forever. It means that it's sealed there for a purpose. When Abba is ready, he's going to remove the molten rock. He's going to remove this um. He's going to remove this corkscrew from here, and he's going to put the the lava ball or the cannon balls. He's going to put the pressurized cannon balls. It, it is also pressurized with methane gas. So the methane gas is mixed in with the lava ball. All right. Um, <coughs> you all have an idea what I'm talking about, right? The methane gas. See if we can find a video real quick of that. So the methane gas is um all right. So the lava balls, as I was saying before, let me just see if I get a video really quick. So um let me see if I can find it. I should be here. Let us bring up a video really quick and show exactly what I'm talking about. Uh -uh. So, as I was saying before, Abba have a perfect plan. All right. And the plan is high as 180 has, feet. All right. The plans that Abba have. All right. Let me just find the lava ball quickly. All right. Let us pause it right there. This ball. All right, this lava ball that you're seeing here right now, I wouldn't use my mouse or anything to say anything because I know you, I know I did to you all this a time. So I think it's time to teach you about this um, lava ball. So this lava ball here that you're seeing on the screen before you right now, this lava ball that you're seeing right now, this is already pressurized with methane gas. All right, so. There is lava on the inside of the lava ball. All right, lava ball. It means um, it's cannonball. It's a cannonball to be launched at the nations from different countries. All right. Nobody knows about this, but only me. Nobody can tell you exactly when this is going to happen, how it's going to happen, how Yahoo is going to plan it. Nobody knows nothing but me. So I am reading from a scroll right now. 
Yes, I'm reading from a golden scroll right now. Everything that Yahuwah, well, most of the things that Yahuwah is planned for humanity. And one of them is lava balls. Now, these lava balls, it will have spikes on it. All right, so the next thing that Abba planned to do is put spikes on the lava balls. So the lava balls will have spikes all over it will have certain something like some spikes so that when it come in it's going to cut you in half oh my gosh i've saw it i saw it in a vision in last 2017 i saw it in a vision and i saw it recently in a vision again all right an open vision perhaps so am i going to use this lava ball is made in a very very special way all right these lava balls is made very specially for a special purpose and it is made by the creator himself all right yahuwah made these lava balls all right so forget about nasa and usgs telling you how they roll in and they, when they roll into the lava then they push down and then it becomes like a ball that's bullshit all right all what NASA and USGS telling you is bullshit. And some of what they're telling you is what they stole from me. So what they stole from me, the teachings of what USGS stole from me on my other profiles, yeah, they dish it out to the public, but they never give them the raw truth that is in the scrolls that I have given you free. They never did that. They keep all the ancient knowledge to themselves and they give you what they make over and write over to make you think that they know or they're on top of things because they know nothing about what is Yahuwah plan only me no messenger no other messenger on the earth knows no other prophet knows no pastor no deacon none of them knows anything about this about lava balls about nothing i'm teaching you now because what i'm teaching you is the ancient truth is the truth that you need to survive the days the coming days of the apocalypse all right so i think yesterday uh around 2 p.m in canada all of a sudden it become night i told you all that would have happened when the kingdom draws nearer so right now so some so some weeks ago it was actually in the philippines that's where the kingdom was now the kingdom moved closer to canada when the kingdom moves when the kingdom moves close to the usa even in the usa which not involve canada we're talking about all the well the usa what will happen in the usa is that night will become quickly as of as of 12 o'clock all right so when it's about 12 o'clock all right so when it's about 12 o'clock in uh sorry 12 o'clock during the day noon time that's when the sun will set so the sun will rise at 5 a.m yes the sun will rise at 5 a.m and the sun will set at 12 p.m all right not to miss or not to mistrack your mind from what i'm teaching you here but it does still you know give you everything as i could give you right now for make you to understand exactly what is yahuwah plan so again i am actually reading from a golden school that is in front of me right now you cannot see it because you're not in front of me all right <laughs> all right so what is going to happen to this lava ball so first, let me just break it down into a little syllabus, a little, a little, let me just give you a little, 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 little bit of what this lava ball, how this lava ball is created. Above angels, angels making these lava balls in Hawaii. Abba also have angels making lava balls in Guatemala. Abba have angels not placed there three days ago in Indonesia now making lava balls in Indonesia. It's going to make lava balls in Bali. It's going to make lava balls in Lebuk. It's going to make lava balls in Java, but not now. All right. So. Right now they're actually making lava balls in Java, but it's not to launch at the people in Java. Alright? That is not going to happen yet. So when Abba remove his kind or his people or the righteous ones 
from in Java, Indonesia, he's going to pour his rod on Java. So what is going to happen is that these lava balls that they are actually making, these cannonballs, it is pressurized with methane gas. Alright, so <clears throat> what it specifically means right now, as of right now, that you see the black that is seen outside looking kind of black and burn, that is the methane gas. So the methane gas is carved outside of the uh, lava ball. So outside of the lava ball is where the methane gas have been carved. Um, <clears throat> well, you know, it, it actually, you know, remember Abba is the potter, all right? We are the clay. He is the creator. And if he creates something, it is, <laughs> it is of uh, realness, so to speak. So if Abba creates something, he know that it, it is good. So this lava ball, they will take lava balls and they will put spikes in the lava balls. So that is not going to happen now. Alright? That is not going to unfold right now where they're going to put the spikes into the lava ball. That is not going to happen now. That is for a soon event. Alright? But we're talking about no event. The no event that we are actually seeing is that the angels on them, well, you know, USGS don't know nothing about that time, you know. Other sky watchers and people who watching Nibiru. <laughs> Nibiru don't exist, by the way. Uh, these people who watching for Nibiru, watching for Planet X and, and Prongdav Star, which don't exist, which is actually an illusion by the fallen angels. Alright? So, the moral of what I'm actually trying to explain to you all here as of right now is that the lava ball that you see there, it is carved out. It was created with methane gas, pressurized in methane gas. And what they did was they placed the lava inside of it. Alright? So let's imagine what will happen when Abba launched the lava balls through these volcanoes. Again, this volcano is situated in Hawaii. Alright? So this Oh, sucks. Let me see what I'm talking about. So this here is the Hawaii Himalayan, or whatever they call it, crater. Alright? Abba is going to put the same lava ball that I just showed you all day, and he's going to remove this uh, corkscrew. I think it's corkscrew, you see. He's going to remove the corkscrew from here. This thing that seen here is called a corkscrew by Yahua. NASA knows nothing about it. Uh, Skywatchers knows nothing about it. They know nothing about what I'm teaching you all here. Alright? They know nothing about what I'm teaching you all here. It's nothing science. It's nothing biology. It's nothing, um, it's not even in agriculture. You know, agriculture doesn't deal with these kind of things, eh? But it's not even in physics, what I'm teaching you all here. It's nowhere, nowhere. You can find what I'm teaching you all here. Alright? So, so this corkscrew here is going to be removed. Abba is going to replace it with the lava balls. Alright? So the lava balls will be made uh, according to the circumference of this hole. So according to the circumference of this hole, Yahoo are going to make these lava balls to fit within the hole. So what's going to happen, that's why Abba doing a cleaning. So what Abba did was clean out all the lava. So all the lava that was connected to Yellowstone from here, because it is connected to Yellowstone. Alright? So all the lava that was coming from Yellowstone and storing up here, storing up here for years, now he released it into Hawaii and he created a sort of highway so that the lava from Yellowstone will pass through, not the volcano anymore, but it will pass through the tubes, which, which Abba calls the lava tubes. So the lava tubes, it will pass through the lava tubes, and it will enter into the ocean, uh, Abba calls a uh, lava ocean tube. Well, what it means is that there's an entry where there's multiple tubes line up in Hawaii, where it's connecting to different volcanoes. Alright? So different volcanoes will receive the lava from um, Yellowstone. It will pass from Yellowstone 
and it will pass through Hawaii, as you can see, Abba created, created a highway in Hawaii where the lava could have run carefully. And um, I'm also going to show you today of, um, let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, let me see if I can all right, so I'm going to find it for you in a sec that Abba is going to fit the lava ball and remove the corkscrew. If you look very carefully, you can see that the corkscrew is not scattered all about. It is actually a cork. It's actually like a circumference and there's a long kind of um, axle. All right, there's a long axle that connecting to the metal gas. So what that means is that it's keeping the corkscrew from flying off, all right? Because the methane gas is pressurizing this. If NASA was to go down, if there was to actually go down here, oh my gosh, they can it off with that. If rain fall there. Now, how about put the corkscrew, or you actually um, put down the corkscrew. If rain do to fall, the rain will seep or pass any way around here to get in into the hole all right uh the next thing you never see i don't know if anybody ever saw in a video or what that when rain or water touches lava what happens when water touches lava nothing happens what happens is that the lava doesn't become hard no all right the lava have its own cooling system then, all right? The lava have its own cooling system as well, all right? So what happens is that when uh, Abba removed this corkscrew, when the corkscrew is removed, what happens next is that Abba places the lava ball on here and then he will launch it at America. So what happens when these lava balls pressurize in a specific way? It pressurizes in a way to go into the directions that Yahuwah wanted to. Alright? So when the corkscrew is removed or removed out of its place, the lava ball will be put into, the, into that place. So I hope that you understand exactly what I'm talking about. I hope I'm not confusing you. But let me just find a next video really quick. <clears throat> so let me find a video all right so as we could see i don't know if you could see yet uh, i need sorry i need to like open it up This is the creation of the lava balls in Hawaii. This is the creation of the lava ball in Hawaii. This is how the angels make the lava ball. Alright? I'm just that's like how the angels that make the crop circle. Well it's the same thing that they do in Hawaii, Guatemala and Indonesia. Alright? So look at it. This is how this is the creation of the lava ball in Hawaii. Alright? The angels is the one who making the lava balls. You can't see them. Alright? You can see the angels. You might believe anything that I'm saying. You might say, wait, this guy crazy. How you could say angels making lava ball? USGS didn't tell me that. Because USGS knows nothing. All they know is bullshit. All they know is lies. What I teach you is ancient. Alright? So, there's just two activities occurring here. Let me just go back to the starting. This is the creation of the lava balls. And this is also the creation of a river of lava. What it means is, this is a, a feedy bank. Abba call this a uh, feedy bank. I know it might sound kind of strange to you. You might actually say, but uh, what is a feedy bank? Well, a feedy bank is that Abba created like a swimming pool 
of lava and he decided to split the swimming pool and make a stream or he decided to make like a <coughs> excuse me like an ocean of lava so what you're seeing there is an ocean of lava being processed to enter specific volcanoes all right so different volcanoes requires a different texture of lava again i'm reading what they are giving me right now it is in front of me you can't see it i don't have you on camera <laughs> but i'm actually reading from a golden scroll right now because this is actually part of the ancient truth is actually part of teaching you what uh it is that you are seeing that you do not be deceived by the liars or the naysayers or the ones who think that they know what's going on that they know nothing unless if they first hear it from me all right if they do not hear it from me then they will never know what it is because i have the golden scrolls and i'm the only one worthy to read those scrolls so this is what you see here it is the uh tsunami this is like a tsunami of lava but it's not a tsunami tsunami it's just that Abba created created a path where lava balls could be made at the same time instead of just making a little swimming pool a lava and just making the balls and put them there uh no that's not what uh they are doing also the next thing that Abba doing is transporting lava ball Abba is transporting lava balls on the ocean this oh my gosh my father is so awesome he's so awesome anyways he's doing things and people have no idea what the most high god elohim is doing all right <coughs> at the same time instead of abba uh, <coughs> creates a little swimming pool you know yeah angels making the balls and just pressurizing them and putting them there uh this is actually the first phase of the lava ball all right this is the first phase where the lava ball is actually created this is the first phase of how the lava ball is created then from this phase as you can see you're seeing different uh texture of lava flowing down there you see a little red you will see a little yellow you will see a little black you will see sometimes you'll see a little crystal you see the things that you're seeing glowing and glittering within the lava stream that you see in there those are crystals real crystals all right and abba using in the volcano itself all right so the crystals and everything is made up into the lava all right and i will tell you later on what that symbolize or what does that mean so from since day one since in may when i actually brought the first prophecy when uh before hawaii ever get before abba ever reached that phase that he uh, actually in right now before abba actually reached into this phase it means that this phase almost completed it doesn't mean to say that the It doesn't mean to say specifically that the lava in Hawaii will stop flowing. No, it will never stop flowing until Abba create a perfect pit in Hawaii. All right. So there will be a pit in Hawaii, and I will show you just a sec how that pit will look. But for now, I just want to make you understand. Don't believe in NASA. Don't believe in USGS. Right? Don't believe in their lies because their lies is to fool you. All right so the lies is not based on righteousness the lies is based on deceptions on turning your heart away from the creator because it is the creator elohim they are the ones who created uh, this stream of lava see it right um all right, so here have my mouse, uh, have my mouse, uh, have my mouse, uh, have my mouse, 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 have my mouse
um, about staying active so you can't really see it, right? Um, all right, so here what's going to happen to the Caribbean islands. There are certain islands that need, will be pushed out of the way. Uh, we know that there will be lives that will be lost. Uh, we, uh, do you understand that there will be dead people uh, in the Caribbean? There will be a lot of dead people after the mega tsunami passed, right? Uh, what I'd like you to do right now is, is to share the life so people can hear. I, I, I want to give you an alternative. I want to give you a, a way out of uh, uh, you know this situation not actually going on. I, I want to give you an opportunity to escape. All right. So uh, what is going to happen to the Caribbean islands is that part of Venezuela is. Um, let me see if I can just bring up that day, boy. Um, so uh, do you understand that there will be people? Uh, dead people, you know, people who uh, uh, will wash up, uh, wash up as dead people. Let me just see if I can just bring back up the screen there. Um, <clears throat> I just want to bring this up really quick. All right, so Facebook is kind of uh, blocking certain things from happening here, but I'm trying to get it uh, sorted out, right? I'm trying to get it sorted out. Alright, so once I get sorted out, I could go back to it now. Alright, so what I want to show you all is, uh, is something from UV Seismic, right? And uh, I just want to show you all something really quick. Let me see which part I have it. Uh, I think it should be... Alright, so as, as you can see, I bring up the screen here, right? And uh, I just wanted to explain something again that I explained um, well, some days ago. Uh, first, let me know if you're hearing me well, so that it, it will be very simple, it will be easier uh, to hear, alright? But anyhow, alright, uh, as you can see the mouse here, right? As you can see the mouse here, uh, just look where the mouse is, right? Uh, this piece of island here, you see this piece of island right out here? This piece of island uh, that is stretching all out here, this piece of island needs to break off, alright? So this, this piece of island... Uh, will break off in order for the 500 and something feet of water to come forth from the Caribbean island. So this is where the water will be coming from, all right? The water will be coming from the Caribbean islands, uh, uh, the, the, the other Caribbean islands, the uh between Panama City and Curacao, uh, which is Caracu, all right? Uh, from here, so here, all right, I will have to, I will have to do a sort of drawing to show you something, but I can't really get into uh, that drawing right now. Uh, but from here to here, this island, this piece of island right here, uh, in um, in Capri, uh, in Capri Preno, this piece of island needs to break off. This piece of land will need to break off, which will break off in a few days from now. So in a few days from now, this piece of land will break off. When this piece of land is break, broken, broken off, the 500 and something feet of water will come here. And the water will reach right here, all right? The water will reach right here, all right? It will build up to 700 feet. Right here, it will build up to 700 feet, all right? Uh, because remember, while they're coming down, the, while they're coming on the island, there must be a way for the water to remain remain 500 feet, right? Must it must be a must have a way for the water to remain at 500 feet. So the water will remain at 500 feet uh, coming down here. When it reaches like Polima, uh, when it reaches like Polima, it will um, the water will sort of uh, go a little slower, and then this island, this piece of island here, will cut off. This piece of island right here was circling many mouths will cut off. And then the water now will it will sort of like um pool right down here. I have a drawing of it already. The water will pool down here. And uh, when the water pools down here, Trinidadians, this is where the tsunami will happen. The tsunami will happen right right here. This is down Sagarama site, um, not uh, not Sagaramas, but this is uh Sagonas is right here. Labre is right here, point 14 is about here, all right? Um, uh, Sandy Grande is up here, Toko is up here, Port of Spain is somewhere here, um, right? Sagaramas is out here, Sagaramas is right here, all right? And um, so, guys, so this piece of island here needs to break off, 
when this piece of island break off remember the 500 feet of water will stretch all here so you're talking about all here will be broken off that is the reason why the earthquake happened there that is the reason why they detected an earthquake there because there is a shift there uh, you know the, the tectonic plate is removed from there in order for the water to in order for this piece of mountain to break off so once this piece once the small earthquakes has completed once the minor earthquakes has completed now the major earthquake will begin and once the major earthquake begins it will be happening at uh, it will be happening like close to Sagaramas here like here we'll have an earthquake soon all right uh, yeah, I know what you're seeing with the mouse here so we'll have an earthquake uh, we'll have an earthquake in uh, Sagonas right here it will have an earthquake uh, I already have a drawing right um, I already have a drawing indicating where the earthquakes um, will be happening all right so let me just look for that and uh, get back to you there <laughs> But to all like that I must still stand strong Giving thanks and praise to the Almighty One I'm looking forward to reach Mount Zion And I must say, Zion, I'm coming on to you Holy Mount Zion, I'm coming on to you Listen, I don't have no rights in a Babylon Because I don't know how the West was won Neither I can't change their plan So the West is not changed by the two cats I want you to hear me well. Um, all right, so as you can hear me there, right? <clears throat> if you look on the on that side, right? If you look on the if you look on the right hand side of the screen. If you look on the right hand side of the screen, you can see I brought, I brought up a picture there with the map of Trinidad. And uh, this, uh, this is a divine drawing of every single way where earthquakes are supposed to happen, everywhere with, uh, where earthquakes will be occurring throughout the, well, throughout Trinidad. This is for Trinidad. And um, since uh, this drawing has been established, uh, there have been uh, a lot of earthquakes happening this exact spot. All right? Like this exact spot is where earthquakes is happening. All right, so if you look where the F is, although the drawing it looks it looks like it's close to Trinidad because of the fact that it is close to Trinidad, but it's just where the drawings are. So if you look where this earthquake happened here close to Caparo, it states that it is uh, the alphabet. It is in an alphabetical order. So that people who don't understand well about how the earthquakes happening, so that they will have an understanding how the earthquakes will be happening. So behind this, uh, behind this wall that is seen here, I don't have my mouse activated, but behind the wall of the scene there, this is where this is a tectonic plate that Yahuwah is establishing right now. Is is a is a sort of square, you know. Uh, um, can I explain it in a way for you to understand, but um. It is the sort of wall where the 500 feet of water will gather behind the wall, and uh, when the when the water reach uh, when the when the water reach a maximum of 700 feet, that is when the these four uh, F, G, and E and K will collapse. All right, uh, that means that. Uh, these that is established here, these are tectonic plates, right? These are uh, new tectonic plates. These are new additions that Yahuwah is putting on on the plates. All right, let me just explain it like that. The, the, these are new additions. This is additions, things that Abba is going to do. 
Alright, these are new additions. Doesn't mean to say we're not saved Trinidad. They're going to destroy Trinidad because of the way how because of the way all the tsunami will be coming from. Alright? If the tsunami was coming from let me say the open water where Arima is and all kind of thing, no, that's not how the tsunami will happen. The, it happens so far reason because half of Trinidad will experience fireballs. Alright? And uh, <coughs> half of Trinidad will experience certain things. All right, which which I don't want to scare people off the life. All right, I don't want to scare you off the life. But um, I'm just telling you that the drawings that I have is very identical. It's very authentic. It's very it's 100. It's one million percent accurate. But if we, if you look at uh, go back at all the earthquakes and you look at all the earthquakes that happen in Trinidad, you will see that where this drawing is, there are earthquakes happening every single where where it is. And uh, there are some places that earthquake hasn't happened yet. Because that will cause a catastrophe, that will cause a sort of a catastrophe in Trinidad. That is not going to happen yet, folks. Alright, that is the reason why earthquakes air happen. Um, earthquakes happen K and L already. L experience uh, that part of the shift. Alright, uh, but that is the reason why um, the 10.1 earthquake wouldn't be happening uh, maturing. The 10 point one earthquake will be happening between Panama City and Curacao to generate the 500 feet. All right. The 8.5 earthquake will uh, happen between Maturin and this Capranio, this Capranio and Pala and Palama and Palama Island. All right. I'm not, I'm not sure if those islands are, are occupied by people, but I doubt. I doubt those islands are occupied by people or by you know by human beings or whatever. But this is where the you know wow. so this is just this is where you know the earthquakes uh well you know this is where the earthquakes do to occur this is where everything is going to start here but this piece of the island here in capranio needs to remove water the way for the water to uh, sort of mount here like what's showing you on the other drawing there once the, once the water mount there it will create a sort of bridge and when it reaches a certain level it will overflow into the land of Trinidad and then it will it will uh, start to divide Trinidad it will start to divide Trinidad in three parts like we you know one two three uh, Trinidad will divide in three parts any question please ask in the comment section below if you have any question you are free to ask and um, you don't stay quiet ask your questions and your questions uh, will be answered So any question you have, you are free to ask. I am coming on to you. They said I don't have no rights in a Babylon because I don't know how the West was won. Neither I can change their plan. The West is controlled by the people. All right, so the trembling that you're feeling, um, Jenny said the trembling that you're feeling, that is, uh, that is part of the transformation uh, that is actually going on right now in your body. All right, that is transformation uh, beginning to occur here. Shalom to you, sister Sarissa and brother Elia, a brother uh, Elia and uh, brother Julio. Holy Mount Zion, I'm Of this world want to see. Many a song 
don't have my mouse uh, my mouse thing active so you can't really see it right um, all right so here what's going to happen to the Caribbean islands there are certain islands that needs will be pushed out of the way uh, we know that there will be lives that will be loosed uh, we are uh, do you understand that there will be dead people uh, in the Caribbean there will be a lot of dead people after the mega tsunami passed right uh, what I'd like you to do right now is, is to share the life so people can hear. I, I, I want to give you an alternative. I want to give you a, a way out of uh, uh, you know this situation not actually going on. I, I want to give you an opportunity to escape. All right. So uh, what is going to happen to the Caribbean islands is that part of Venezuela is. Um, let me see if I can just bring up that day, boy. Um, so uh, do you understand that there will be people? Uh, dead people, you know, people who uh, uh, will wash up, uh, wash up as dead people. Let me just see if I can just bring back up the screen there. Um, <clears throat> I just want to bring this up really quick. All right, so Facebook is kind of uh, blocking certain things from happening here, but I'm trying to get it uh, sorted out, right? I'm trying to get it sorted out. All right. So once I get sorted out, I could go back to it now. All right. So what I want to show you all is uh, is something from UV seismic, right? And uh, I just want to show you all something really quick. Let me see which part I have it. Uh, I think it should be. All right. So as, as you can see, I bring up the screen here, right? And uh, I just wanted to explain something again that I explained um, well, some days ago. Uh, first, let me know if you're hearing me well, so that it, it will be very simple, it will be easier uh, to hear, alright? But anyhow, right? Uh, as you can see the mouse here, right? As you can see the mouse here. Uh, just look where the mouse is, right? Uh, this piece of island here, you see this piece of island right out here? This piece of island uh, that is stretching all out here, this piece of island needs to break off, alright? So this, this piece of island uh, will break off in order for the 500 and something feet of water to come forth from the Caribbean island. So this is where the water will be coming from, all right? The water will be coming from the Caribbean islands, uh, uh, the, the, the other Caribbean islands, the uh, between Panama City and Curacao, uh, which is Caracu, all right? Uh, from here, so here, all right, I will have to, I will have to do a sort of drawing to show you something, but I can't really get into uh, that drawing right now. Uh, but from here to here, this island, this piece of island right here, uh, in um, in Capri, uh, in Capri Preno, this piece of island needs to break off. This piece of land will need to break off, which will break off in a few days from now. So in a few days from now, this piece of land will break off. When this piece of land is broke, broken, broken off, the 500 and something feet of water will come here. And the water will reach right here, alright? The water will reach right here, alright? It will build up to 700 feet. Right here, it will build up to 700 feet, alright? Uh, because remember, while it's coming, it coming down the island, there must be a way for the water to remain, remain 500 feet, right? Must it must be a must have a way for the water to remain at 500 feet so the water will remain at 500 feet uh coming down here when it reaches like polymer uh when it reaches like polymer it will um the water will sort of uh go a little slower and then this island this piece of island here will cut off this piece of island right here while circling many mouse will cut off and then the water now will it will sort of like um pool right down here I have a drawing of it already. The water will pool down here. And uh, when the water pools down here, Trinidadians, this is where the tsunami will happen. The tsunami will happen right right here. This is down Sagarama's side. Uh, not, uh, not Sagarama's, but this is uh, Sagona's is right here. Labre is right here. Point Fortin is about here. All right. Um, uh, Sandy Grande is up here. Toko is up here. Port of Spain is somewhere here. Um, right, Sagaramas is out here. Sagaramas is right here. All right, and um, so guys, so this piece of island here needs to break off. 
when this piece of island break off remember the 500 feet of water will stretch all here so you're talking about all here will be broken off that is the reason why the earthquake happened there that is the reason why they detected an earthquake there because there is a shift there it, uh, you know the, the tectonic plate is removed from there in order for the water to in order for this piece of mountain to break off so once this piece once the small earthquakes has completed once the minor earthquakes has completed now the major earthquake will begin and once the major earthquake begins it will be happening at uh, it will be happening like close to Sagaramas here like here we'll have an earthquake soon all right uh, yeah, I know you're seeing with the mouse here so we'll have an earthquake uh, we'll have an earthquake in uh, Sagonas right here it will have an earthquake uh, I already have a drawing right um, I already have a drawing indicating where the earthquakes um, will be happening alright so let me just look for that and uh, get back to you there <laughs> But to all of that I must still stand strong Giving thanks and praise to the Almighty One And looking forward to reach Mount Zion And I must still stand strong I'm coming on to you Holy Mount Zion I'm coming on to you They said I don't have no rights in a Babylon Because I don't know how the West was won Neither I can't change their plan The West is controlled by the two class that's why I say Zion, I'm coming on to you. Teach the youth them right, but not teach them wrong. Just a look on the youth, cause the youth are strong. Look to Africa, that I feel your mama now. And don't let Africa away. Alright, I wanted to hear my well. Let's look at this. Say, holy man, Zion, I'm coming on to you. All right, so as you can hear me there, right? <coughs> if you look on the on that side, right? If you look on the if you look on the right hand side of the screen, if you look on the right hand side of the screen, you can see I brought I brought up a picture there with the map of Trinidad, and uh, this a uh, this is a divine drawing of every single where where earthquakes supposed to happen, everywhere with, uh, where earthquakes will be occurring throughout the well throughout Trinidad. This is for Trinidad. And um, since uh, this drawing has been established, uh, there have been uh, a lot of earthquakes happening this exact spot. All right, At this exact spot is where earthquakes is happening. All right, so if you look where the F is, although the drawing it looks it looks like it's close to Trinidad because of the fact that it is close to Trinidad, but it's just where the drawings are. So if you look where this earthquake happened here close to Caparo, it states that it is uh, the alphabet, it is in an alphabetical order, so that people who don't understand well about how the earthquakes are happening, so that they will have an understanding how the earthquakes will be happening. So behind this, uh, behind this wall that is seen here, I don't have my mouse activated, but behind the wall of the scene there, this is where, this is a tectonic plate that Yahuwah is establishing right now. Is is a is a sort of square, you know. Uh, um, can I explain it in a way for you to understand? But um, it is a sort of wall where the 500 feet of water will gather behind the wall, and uh, when the when the water reach uh, when the when the water reach a maximum of 700 feet, that is when the these four uh, F G and E. And K will collapse. All right. Uh, that means that uh, these that is established here, these are tectonic plates, right? These are uh, new tectonic plates. These are new additions that Yahuwah is putting on on the plates. All right. Let me just explain it like that. The, the, these are new additions. This is additions. Things that Abba is going to do. All right. These are new additions. Doesn't mean to say we're not saved to that. They're going to destroy Trinidad because of the way how, because of the way all the tsunami will be coming from. All right, 
if the tsunami was coming from let me say the open water where arima is and all kind of thing no that's not how the tsunami will happen they, it happens so far reason because half of trinidad will experience fireballs all right and uh half of trinidad will experience certain things all right which which i don't want to scare people off the life all right i don't want to scare you off the life but um, I'm just telling you that the drawings that I have is very identical. It's very authentic. It's very, it's 100, it's 1 million percent accurate. But if you look at, uh, go back at all the earthquakes and you look at all the earthquakes that happen in Trinidad, you will see that where this drawing is, there are earthquakes happening every single where, where it is. And uh, there are some places that earthquake hasn't happened yet because that will cause a catastrophe that will cause a sort of uh, catastrophe in Trinidad that is not going to happen yet folks all right that is the reason why earthquakes eh, happen um earthquakes happen key and l already l experience uh that part of the shift all right uh but that is the reason why um the 10 point one earthquake wouldn't be happening uh maturing the 10 point earthquake will be happening between Panama City and Curacao to generate the 500 feet. All right. The 8.5 earthquake will uh, happen between Maturin and this Capranio, this Capranio and Pala and Palama and Palama Island. All right. I'm not, I'm not sure if those islands are, are occupied by people, but adult. I thought those islands are occupied by people or by you know by human beings or whatever. The but order, this is where the you know unions right. are formed for men to speak as one, nature to ensure that no one country has autonomy over the other. I like the nations to address issues of war, famine and disasters. Commercially, NAFTA and WTO are designed to protect us from ourselves. But still they do not deal with the real issues. <laughs> So today I'm going to be doing a drawing for you. In my body drawing, I tell you all about some weeks ago. But well, I'm going to do the drawing today, and I'm going to show you exactly where the wall going up, and exactly where the, the new tectonic plates is in alignment, and I'll show you where the danger zones are. So stay tuned. <laughs> So they have detected uh, 13 earthquakes last five days. There were 13 earthquakes in uh, Capriano and Maturin. There were 13 earthquakes there. It's very important to listen to my lives because I'm always on point.
make sure and share this live. Yes, although most people uh, don't care to listen, uh, you know, there are most people who don't care to listen to anything that I say. Um, well, all to all to everyone who watching the live, all those who following the live, all those who listening the live, welcome to the live. All right, uh, we we're gonna get into the teaching part. All right, we're gonna get into the teaching part in in a second. Jalap love me by
question to ask you all, right? How could 13 earthquakes be normal? Why the line to the public? Alright? How 13 earthquakes happening in one spot could be normal? You see how that's friggin' like? <laughs> Nobody listening, nobody listening to the live, but don't worry, yes, judgment is coming upon the Caribbean island. So, beginning today, we're gonna to have earthquake in the west of Maturin, Capranio. We're gonna have earthquake all throughout the Caribbean islands, gonna happen as a domino effect, and we're gonna have three jolts again coming. Which is going to wake up the south land, it's going to wake up the east land, and it's going to wake up the north land. That is Trinidad, alright? Uh, Panama City and, uh, Curaçao, Caracu, going to be very active. We have, uh, the volcano, uh, ancient volcano in Dominica. That volcano was had a signs of eruption. We have Kick Them Jenny, Kick Them John, Kick Them Jack. These three volcanoes will begin to show signs of activity. Because we, we, we uh, Elohim is going to start the ball rolling. Nobody are listening. I got to fall. Slavery chains are no breaking. Break the gates, we be done in. We trust they send on every hand. We're all trusted on the top sun. Oh, we are it for Greek no more. For the light has come. Your love was more than gold. So save your soul. Works more than gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your love. Brighter days is coming. Brighter days is coming for all those who love Elohim. Brighter days is coming for you. So be no hypocrites no more. Don't allow them to continue to lie to you. So 13 earthquakes happen in this exact spot on my journey, the exact spot on my journey, the exact spot on my journey. And yet they're talking about, uh, don't worry, that's absolutely normal. Oh really? That is normal? Really? 13 earthquakes in 5 days on the same spot is normal? Well we go see. When the whole island separate, and the tsunami come in, it's coming. Don't worry folks. Yahuwah putting things in place. Nobody is listening to me. Fine. Yahuwah is putting things in place. So all who want to go and listen to stinking Devika, could go and listen to Devika Ragu or some other psychic or some other pastor or some other deacon, whoever they want to listen to who brain dead. Because all of them going to be gathered together and thrown in the lake of fire. Also, not everybody will be thrown into the lake of fire. There is, Yahuwah is right now building, uh, uh yeah, Yahuwah right now is molding some pits right now in Indonesia. Some of these people in Indonesia is going to be thrown into, into these pits. Alright, people are going to be thrown into these pits that Yahuwah is digging right about now. So Yahuwah is carving some pits right now, right? Yeah. Everybody not listening, people not listening. Alright? You know, you can't reach everybody, but you try to reach some, the ones who will listen. You know what I mean? volcanoes new volcanoes new craters gonna be open to throw these people in yeah so after the song we're gonna get into the teaching today it's gonna to be short and then after people could go on with a life or whatever they want but this will be a serious and the murmur unto themselves saying, There is none worthy to take the book of seven seas and to open it. And 
One of the elders said, Rasta Madina, Tingi Madina, Kongo Madina, Behold the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seas. And as he took the book from the hand of me that sat on the throne, they all fell down before him, singing a new song, singing. children of Zion for you are about to be taken up all those that are serious all those that are ready all those that are willing to give up the worldly lifestyle and reject the traditions of Babylon you will be raptured you will be taken up all the others could stay and be left behind and burn for my part I do business yeah their time has come solid Yes, they all murmured unto themselves, saying, There is none worthy to take the book of seven seas and open. And one of the elders said, Rasta Mandina, Tindi Mandina, Pongo Mandina, Jack Time and Go. So first we're going to start, um, Amashiach 
Alright, so here what, right? First you need to watch to see where all the good things are happening. Let's see if I can just bring up the screen from Alright, watch to see where all the earthquakes are. I've come to magnify your name. I've come to worship and magnify your name. So let me look exactly where the earthquake is taking place, right? Alright guys, so we're going to do our teaching today and I'm going to be teaching you about uh, where exactly the tectonic plates is aligned, where, it is that, where exactly it is, and uh, you'll be hearing me clearly, alright? So we just pull this up here, push it on the side, push it on the side. Alright, so you will be hearing me, you should be hearing me. Exactly, alright, let's we'll put this down here. Alright, where exactly where the tectonic plate is. Alright, and after that, I'm gonna, after the teaching, I'm, I'm just gonna end the live. Alright. Alright, so, the first thing we're gonna do here, alright, make sure you make sure you see my, my mouse. Alright, as you can see in the teaching next door, you're seeing, um, turn on to big old, uh, you know, you see in the bulletin on the other side of the 13 earthquakes, right? The earthquake happened exactly where F is. <laughs> so exactly where F is, because F is the, the, this way, right? So the earthquake happened exactly where F is. So make sure you see in my mouth, you might, you might see it a little, you know, fadey, fadey away. All right, but uh, this is my mouse here. All right. So let me know if you see it. Let me know if you see any mouse first. All so this is exactly where the earthquake happened in Capranio. All right. Maturin, uh, Maturin is down here where G is. This Maturin, this is Capranio. This is, um, um, this is, uh, uh, Poliano or Poliano. I can't remember, we can't remember the name it, but right. This is the Western tectonic plate here. This is the active, this is an active tectonic plate. So here what we're gonna do, folks. Alright? <coughs> Alright, everywhere on this map is where, <coughs> everywhere on this divine drawing is where earthquakes will happen, where earthquakes is due to happen, and once Yahuwah collapses the letters, once the letters are collapsed, the water will come in and flood and drown people in China, alright? It had a hold back, it had a hold in the back of what will not happen. <laughs> Alright, so no per no mount up here and fast can stop what's gonna happen here. What I'm showing you here is the is Elohim's plan. Alright? 
So first, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you as far the wall is, and I want you to ask questions, alright? First, I'm going to start building the wall. I'm going to start building a wall. Alright, so I'll start building a wall, alright? So I'll start building the wall right here. Alright. Alright. We start building the wall. So I'll show you where the oh my gosh. Oh. Alright, I need to learn something. Alright, I will start building a wall. I apologize about that. Apparently I don't know if it's All right, so I'll start building the wall. We start building the wall where the water will be. All right, so okay, I should have it better than now. So it shouldn't um, overlap. All right, so this is the wall of water. I'm gonna start building the wall. And then when I done build the wall, so I start. I will start building the wall here. This is the wall that I told you all that Yahoo are building right now down in Matarin. Wall. The wall is under the ocean, by the way. The wall is in the ocean, all right. So you all are exactly where the walls will be, where the wall will be going. All right. So I'll show you all where the wall is, right? This is the wall. This is where the wall is, right? It will be. It, it, it ain't gonna be long. I, I promise it. I won't take up so much of your time. Remember the water, the water in Brazil disappeared. The water, the water in Brazil, uh, the water in Mexico, a matter of fact, gone. Alright, the water, the water come behind the wall. So what Yahoo are doing right now is gathering the water behind the wall. Alright, the water is behind this wall, folks. Alright, so behind this wall here is the water. Alright, the water is behind the wall. When I do a little zoom in, I had to do a little zoom in and thing too. To show you a close up of some other things that I'll be showing you all later down here. Alright, so this is the wall being built here. Alright. And uh let me show you which part the danger zones are, where the danger zones will be. Alright, so let me show you where the danger zones will be, the active zones. Alright, let me just put it here. Alright, so here now this this two compass here where you see the yellow is here. All right, that is where the separation happening. Because the separation need to happen by F here, Capranio, and also by Maturin. Let's see if I can just pay it by Maturin. Let's see, let's see if I can just get it by Maturin there. All right. So, all right. So as we have it here. This will be um, just look on the you're looking on the other side. I can't bring it up to I can't get it to big screen, right? All right, so we're looking at this side. So we have uh, the danger zone on this side. This will be the danger zone, all right? And let me just get some more bricks. All right, so I put bricks here. You know, we, the, the, because my told you all about, I'm about told you all about the sequence of the earthquakes that Yahua will be doing, right? All right. So we have two empty spaces there. All right. Alright, so I put the bricks here. 
And now I'm going to uh, now I'm going to put water. All right, so I'm going to put this uh, when the uh, when the other saturation comes. I'm going to put uh, water here. That will be water there. That will be water there. All right. That will be water there. So all these things that you see I have here is water, right? This is water that I add in here. All right. Uh, recently, Trinidad was saturated. The land was saturated at its side. All right. <clears throat> all right so there's a reason why i'm doing this i just want to show you all something all right so i put water oh boy i wasn't supposed to do that but anyhow all right so i'll put water there too because all here will be water So I add the water, right? This is the water, so this meaning that this is the sea here. Alright, recently had an earthquake that happened. Um, recently had an earthquake happen somewhere here. Alright. Remember, my drawings will, you know, always be accurate. So I put water, right? up these spots don't really want to go too deep but I just want to show you something all right so this toko up there all right so after this drawing is established we will see earthquake happening exactly on the tectonic plate all right so as you can see there all right if you're not hearing anything um i apologize about that i not so why you're not hearing nothing all right um Let's look at this pop the volume above all the volume there you know so the earthquakes ex happening exactly on uh, the where the drawing is there all right so as you can see there this is the wall that yahoo is establishing right So anybody hear me make sure you hear me loud and clear all right so what yahoo are doing is is building a wall here let me just get back the wall all right and i'll show you where the cracks will appear right i'll show you where the cracks will appear all right bricks so i'm going to show you exactly where the cracks will appear in trinidad all right now there, there are certain parts that i didn't touch yet because I have some work to do there. All right. So let me say this is the wall, right? That Yahoo is establishing uh, mattering because not mattering, but um, this is so crazy. My life seen it end. My my life right now seeing that it is end. My life seeing that it end right now. So I, I'm not I'm not sure if the life I'm not sure if the life end. All right, I'm not sure if the life end on your end, but Facebook saying the life end. All right, but if it not end because I not seen it end, I seen it end on the computer. But anyhow, right? Yahoo are building the building up the bricks, right? Now let me see if I could spice in a little bricks here. Let me see if I could spice in a little bricks here
All right, so you see in, uh, you see in the wall, right? The wall being established here. This is down Maturin. All right, this is where the 8.5 magnitude earthquake will be happening. The 8.5 magnitude earthquake will be happening exactly. Uh, Polum, the earth, the 8.5 earthquake will be happening exactly. Uh, Capri, Capranio, uh, Capranio Maturin. All right, Capranio to Maturin because that whole side there will split, as I show you all here. All right. The yellow part is the danger zone, all right? That is the, that, that is the danger zone as of right now. Once you have to remove the plate here, because as you can see, this is a tectonic plate here. Once you have to remove this plate, all right, and the cap size F and the cap size E, all right, then the wall will collapse too because every other alphabet will, will, will follow suit in collapsing. Remember this water up here, all right? This will be the, let me see, this, this will be the five, the 500 feet water coming down here. All right. When the water coming down here now, the water need to, the water will need to, let me, let me see if I get it back there. The water will need to, let me see. All right. So the water, right? That is the water there. Let me just check this out. Check this out, folks. Check this out. Alright. Check this out, right? This is the water here. We don't want to go too, too, I ain't going too deep in teaching you all this. Alright? Because nobody even, nobody understands yet what I'm talking about. Alright, so, guys. All here is all here is just the ocean. All right, all here is just the ocean. Oh boy, they want to go sh so much. Anyhow, okay, cool. All right, so as you can see, the water there, right? Now we need to establish the water coming down here too as well. All right. Now we need to we need to close up this here, this breach. It is like a breach here right now, so we need to close this up. All right. So I'll uh, just leave me in open so that you will see what I'm talking about. All right. Alright, so I just leave the top at the western tectonic plate that's for you to see. That is the mean uh there. Yes, the yellow part is the danger zone. You just you see if I could just get it a little clearer. A little clearer for you there. All right, all right, all right. So. so this is the 500 feet water crushing down here. All right. This up here will be the 500 feet water. All right. I just leave certain things open. This would be the 500 feet water. All right. The 500 feet water coming down here, right? When the water reach up here. When the water reach up here, it will it will sort of because the mountains will block it here. It have a mountain right here, and this mountain will block the water from coming in. But this piece of land, I'll tell you all already, this piece of land here needs to cut off. So once this piece of land cut off, this piece of land here, all right, a little piece of potter's pay needs to cut off. Shagaramas will be will cut off. Once Shagaramas cut off, all right. Uh, the water will the, the water will will uh the water will will come between the mountain and push this piece of port, this piece of shagaramas uh out of the way so that the water coming down there could pass freely and gather behind the wall all right any further any questions as of right now if you have any questions right now it will be uh, good to ask now
uh, that land will uh, the land will float the piece of land here let me, let me uh, just do some adjustments there all right I could use this all right so let me do some adjustments right so all right so as you can see there will be well there will be active because um all right when you when, when you water come in yahoo i will capsize the tectonic plate and uh, let me say here 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 this piece of land here all right this piece of land right here about this piece here all right and a little piece of Diego Martin all right will get cut off all right so this land now this piece of land now will stay from here and this land will be put this land will float away all right all right so this little piece of thing that is here doing here right the land will float away all right so as of right now as of right now yahua is building the wall so what i'm going to show you is the strong points in the tectonic plate all right this is one this is one this will be one this will be sorry this will be one wrong spot but um all right and this will be one down here All right, so those are active spots right now, and uh, library will become active sooner. But right now, this is what's going on right now. All right, this is this is what going on right now. Yahoo is establishing the points. All right. Correct sis, that is exactly it, but the water could be higher than the 700 feet because according to what Yahuwah want to establish. Uh, so are you guys seeing it? Are you seeing what I'm talking about? Alright, let me just switch back here. Alright, so we switch back here to the water uh, to the water scene, alright? This is the water here and the water coming down, alright? The water will go down here. Like the water will, will, the water will, there's a sort of bridge here, right? The water needs to build behind, the water will be building behind the bridge. This, uh, this will be the active points of the tectonic plate. I have to block off down here though. Alright? Um, let me just block off down there now. All right, so let me just establish the rest of bricks. So this is where Yahuwah right now is uh, building the wall. All right, yeah, idea of what I'm talking about really quick. All right, this is the same thing. This drawing I will have to do also for Panama as well. So how to do the same thing for Panama to show exactly where how the tsunami will be mounted because you all know I did already, you know, show you all. All right, so I don't want to block out the name of the places. All right, so if you look on the map on the other side, you will see exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So this here is Capranio, all right, and down here is Maturin. Now Capranio and Maturin will be activated at the same time. They will be active at the same time, all right. So let me just do something there again. All right. So let me just um. All right, so you see this place, these things that I put in here. All right, it's to prove that the wall uh, will dissect soon. All right, when the wall dissect, 
Alright, the wall will be sack. I'm gonna see next wall will be sack. Oh, that's too big, boy. Alright, okay, it completely block out what I was gonna do. Shocks. Alright. But anyhow, alright, but you can watch from the other side. Alright, but this is um alphabet, I think this alphabet the D or something like that. I can't remember what alphabet it is, right? Alright, so as we could see, as of right now, it's kind of big, right? But it's kind of big. Alright, so the water will stop here. If you realize how I put it right, the water will stop up here because the mountains will block the water from coming on the land up there. What will happen up here is fireballs will start to emit up here. Woo! Papai! Papai! Alright, so you see the different fireballs, right? The fireballs will start to emit there. These people up there will, I don't know, these people up there will have to suffer this, alright? This is uh, Yahuwah's plan. Fireballs will, will, will destroy, uh, well, the, the remaining of Port of Spain and all these other places, alright? So, now I'm going to show you now, I'm going to show you again something else again that I was shown. Alright, so as you can see, there's a fort line here, right? There is a fort line there, alright? And, uh... Alright. Alright, so I, I just make it look different now, you know, so you'll, so you'll see where the fireballs and things will be coming and stuff like that. Alright, so, <clears throat> uh, places like point 14, I'll have to cut point 14 off, because point 14 wouldn't exist. Places like labyrinthing, because when this water up here, this water up here, this in this blue part up here, the, right now Yahuwah is gathering the water, taking the water from, um, He's taking the water from a uh, waterfront and he's gathering it here by the western tectonic plate. So by the western tectonic plate is where Abba Yahuwah is gathering water right now. Alright, this is the same thing that Yahuwah is doing in Indonesia. It's the same thing he's doing in Trinidad, it's the same thing he's doing in Indonesia as well. To mock the, to mock the tsunami of water, to get the height of the water. Alright, to get the water to come to a certain height, you need to pack it behind that wall. Alright, uh, once the water has been packed behind that wall, alright, let me just, um, alright, so let's go back here. Alright, so, as you can see, you know, just completing the wall and stuff like that. Alright, so this main fault now will detach. Once this main fault line here up here is detached from this letter D, I think this is letter D, you know, this had to be D. C, B, A, B, C. I think this is D, alright? I kind of blow it out. I kind of um, put it a little closer to the letter. So, alright, never mind by the letter, alright? So, this will prove that I am really telling you the truth because this is what Yahuwah is doing. He's gathering the water here. Alright, the water is gathered here. And when the water coming down here now, the water is going through a certain, uh, a certain process. So that this part of Port of Spain up here will separate. And then the split will begin. So, let me establish the split. Remember I told you all how the split will happen. Alright. <coughs> Let me, let me uh, establish the splits now. Uh -huh. Alright, so as you can see, I, I'm sorry I can't do like a, a 3D something like a 3D something and just turn it around to show you all what I'm talking about, right? Uh, any question, ask right now because this is how Yahuwah is going to do it. Alright? Fireballs is gonna be fireballs is gonna take over Port of Spain, Arima, Sandy Grande, Toco cut off. Alright, will be to totally cut off because the remnants from the tsunami coming here, the water will be pushed this way. The water will be pushed this way and the water will come down to end here. Alright? <clears throat> so let me just 
I mean, that's put. All right, so I'm gonna just put some uh, rain, um, some water there. I didn't mean to do the whole thing. All right, but I'm just showing you all how that will happen. All right, so as you can see, yeah, as I can, sh uh, well, as I'm showing you right now, you see in letter J, all right, and B, all right. This is the water. This is the water rising coming up here, right? This is the rising of the water. Shares, shares so this is the water folks just getting your mind right now I didn't I didn't color the um the full tectonic pick I want this I want this one you see this is the main plan of Abba Yahuwah this is the water this is the uh let me say 700 or 500 feet of water it will be going up, climbing, coming down. This is the tsunami here, guys. This is the tsunami here. All right, the tsunami here. When the tsunami come in, this bridge will let way. This bridge now will break away. Because this is just one of the bridge. As you can see, Western Tectonic Plate, and it seems to look like a bridge. All right. So, as as, as you can see, how the water is here. All right. When it reached a certain point, uh, remember the water coming with a certain force. So the water will be pushed right back to the east. The water will be pushed back to the east and settle on, like we say, uh, Grandi, San Grandi, uh, Toko. All right? Toko will be washed off. Piece of Toko will be cut off. All right? Because of the saturation process that will be coming uh, pretty soon. Um, see. All right. So mind you, all this is the water. So don't let them lie to you and tell you uh, that is completely normal. That is absolutely not normal. All right. Uh, just go. Then need to go through. All right. So this is the plan here. Now I put no water underneath here because the plan is to separate. Uh, point 14 and this place is right so what I'm going to do is put the same gold mark that I have up here I'm going to do the same thing and let me see if I can just get that really quick I think it's this one right now what I'm going to do is separate point 14 and library because point 14 and library will be separated as you see there all right <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some uh, maybe some dots Alright, so what I'll do is just draw something really quick there. Alright, and then no, that will be um Cedrus. Cedrus point fourteen. Um Cedrus and point fourteen, all these other places will be cut off. And uh well I don't need to read I don't need to read and tell you all what will happen, alright? You all, you all already know what will happen there. All right. So again, um, let me see if I could uh, just go back to what, what I was showing you all. All right. So uh, uh, up here now, guys. This is the Western Tectonic Plate. Uh, this is the danger zone. All right. This here is the active Western Tectonic Plate. All right. That will will uh, contribute to the tsunami. All right. That will contribute to the tsunami and this is the till gate. This is the till gate here that Yahuwah is establishing. Alright. So this is what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is let me see what I do. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to let's see if I could just bring up that really quick. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just switch the picture for a while. Let me see if I have it. Right. Alright, so as you can see, alright, as you can see there, I wonder if you could see why I'm showing you why. Alright, so as you could see, brothers and sisters, 
All right. You might can see what I see. My I see now a greater, a more bigger uh, drawing than than ever here. All right. So um. So I switch it here for a while. This is where the earthquakes is happening. F. F is where the earthquake is definitely happening right now. And these are the points that Yahuwah is establishing. These are new tectonic plates, guys. Yahuwah put in like, you know, a flat piece of plate and a next piece of plate and a next piece of plate. Yahuwah is actually working on building that foundation right now. So this here will be the wall. Alright? Now, let me look at Trinidad at flat. The wall is being built out in the ocean. You can't see it. Alright? So that's why they're detecting. That's why they are detecting so much uh, activity uh, by Capranio, because the fact that the because the fact that Yahuwah is building the wall. All right. So as of right now, the water that Yahuwah has gathered is three hundred. All right. Now Yahuwah now to me right. The water he gathered thus far. Alright, the water I gather thus far will be at least, the water I gather thus far is 300. So, you know, 300 feet of water will be, uh, you know, talking in terms of giving you a, a better understanding. Alright, 300 feet of water will be about here so. Alright, because remember, Maturin and those other places is very, very deep. Alright. Alright, the water I gather is 300 thus far. He had 300 feet of water already gathered behind the wall. Now the wall is not completed yet. All right, Yahuwah is still working on building the wall. So guys, uh, saturation. All right, the saturation needs to happen. That means that rain needs to fall. All right. Um, let me see what I could do here. All right, so again, the water Yahuwah has gathered is about 300, uh, yeah, about 300 feet uh, water. This is what, Yahuwah, let me see something. This is what Yahuwah is working on as of right now. I wonder if this is it, boy. All right, so as you can see, maturing, right? And uh, as you can see, I will just, sorry, Diego Martin, all right, and then to point 14, all right, and then he will connect the G, and then the G will be connect to the D, all right, and then the D will connect to, let me see, the D will connect to C, all right, and uh, from C, Yahuwah will connect to B. All those letters will begin to fall soon. And from there, and from D, sorry, so from B, Yahuwah will connect to this active uh, sinkhole that opened. This sinkhole opened a few days ago. Alright? This sinkhole happened a few days ago. Are you all hearing anything that I'm saying? Anybody hearing anything that I'm saying? Alright, if you're, if you're not hearing anything I say, I apologize. I deeply, deeply, deeply apologize. Alright? <clears throat> Alright, so what I'm going to do here, guys, what, what, what I'm actually going to do here again, I just wanted to show you all, alright? Just see if I could just exit that. And uh, come out from that. Let me see. Just a minute if you're if you hearing anything that I'm saying, alright? Now, the drawing that I just did with the arrows and stuff like that, it's on the screen. Alright, so we're looking towards the Western Tectonic Plate. Look where the Western Tectonic Plate is, guys. Alright, again, I want you to open your eyes, alright? Uh, just put a little water there. I'll put a little water there. I'll put a little water there because, yeah. Alright. Um, I'll put water there. I'll put water there. I'll put 
you know just try to get water in between there all right so the blue streak or the blue thing that is seen there that is absolutely water all right it's absolutely water that we see in there all right let's look where the western tectonic plate is this is the water you need to open your eyes and understand what brother shy is teaching you all right so the blue uh, that is seen there that is the tsunami coming down folks all right that is the tsunami coming down all right thank you for hearing me loud and clear that's nice okay i, I just this tool not a hundred percent but we get it, you know, we, we actually get what you know, we get it there, we get it there. The tool now 100%, so you're not really seeing exactly what Brother Shai actually drew in their favor. But don't worry, you, you, will, you will work on that. Alright? Alright, so, guys, this is water here. This is the, this is like the mega tsunami, alright? A lot, a lot of clicking how to do this is the mega tsunami so as I tell you all the water will reach when this is the water here from the tsunami all right, this is the mega tsunami coming down here, right? Now this will be around 3 a.m. in the morning, right? <gasps> oh boy, I cover something. Anyhow, this will be like um, yeah, this will be like 3 a.m. in the morning time when everybody is sleeping. All right, the 8.5 earthquake will happen around 5:25 p.m. All right, and it will happen off the western tectonic plate where you see a all right a will be activated all right once a is activated and the 8.5 magnitude earthquake happen of the western tectonic plate then port of spain will break off port of spain part of port of spain and part of um Sagaramas will completely break off all right as you can see, Yahua already did show down some mountains. Uh, the Santa P Island, right? The Santa P Island. I'll tell you where the Santa P Island is, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Santa P Island has to be. The Santa P Island is somewhere out here, so, somewhere around me. Somewhere out here is the Santa P Island that island on the 21st of, of uh, august 2018 when uh, that when that earthquake uh, did happen it wasn't a mega but when that earthquake did happen that was a major shift in order to put things in place for the western tectonic plate to remain sort of active all right so the western tectonic plate is as of right now active all right right now this the, the western tectonic plate is active because Yahuwah is doing work on letter F. So the letter F is completely activated. As of right now, the letter F is completely, uh, the, well, yeah, the letter F is completely activated right now. And the letter E is completely active. Alright, but the letter G also too is active as well. Alright, the letter G is active. The letter F is active. The letter E is active. And uh, let me go. The letter J is active too as well. The letter B is active as well. The letter C is not active right now. Right now, the letter C that is in Sandy Grandi. It's not active right now because Yahuwah in build the structure yet for the you know for the for the interconnection of the uh, of the. Um, of the structures then right yahua a complete that yet so right now is about 300 feet all right because you have 300 feet so the plan is to get 
the plan is to get uh, 700 feet or 1,000 feet of water behind this wall. All right. Once Yahuwah get the water behind this wall, which he will, because that's what he's doing right now, taking, uh, well, uh, adding new addition to the tectonic plates. New addition is added to the tectonic plates in order for the water to group behind the wall. Now, some of you might be asking, why the yellow, the yellow and black is uh, the danger zone? Because that is where the earthquakes is happening as of right now. Exactly, exactly there is where the earthquakes is happening definitely as of right now. Now the water on top here now, the water that you see it on top here, that water will not overlap and go down here. Alright, the water won't go where the yellow zone is. The water won't go there because there, there, as I show you all, there is a bridge or a barrier here or there will be stones or rocks, whatever you want to say it blocking it off all right <clears throat> let me see if i can find some rocks all right so now i'm going to show you let me get it cracked Alright, so what I'm going to do is establish, I'm going to establish some cracks, so I'm going to show exactly where we'll be cracking. Alright, so I have it there, alright. So I'm going to show you exactly where we'll be cracking in Trinidad. Uh, the crack has already begun in, um, the crack already happened, and the crack happened exactly where my drawing is, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a video. Let's see if I can find a video. I'm going to bring up a video. Oh sweet! I'll show you exactly where the crack will be. What's going on? All right. I'll show you exactly where the crack will be, and uh, let me just get, let me just pull that up really quick. The crack already began in um in Shagaramas. Let me see if I can just bring that really fast so to, to so to give you an idea now i want to give you all an idea of what happened now you know what happened i want to give you all an idea uh right i want to go with this one first and i will play the video just to you know on the track me here boy <laughs> It is the worst. Yeah, I'm in. All right, so I played it the video. The worst. Yeah, I'm in. That is the crack there. That is the crack there that I'm talking about. You see the crack? You see the crack? Look the crack running. Exactly on what road. Alright? So guys, the crack is running exactly as I draw it in. Exactly as I draw it. Alright? Exactly as I draw it. Let me just... Alright, let me just choose the crack. I had to make sure that um, it, ha it is the worst. Right, I had to make sure that I use the correct tools. All right, so what I'm going to do is establish the crack. I'm going to put a crack here. And see if I could get it. the crack running exactly how my drawing is. All right, so exactly how my drawing is, exactly how the crack will be. So this is Sagaramas here, and this is exactly where the crack is, folks. All right. It is the worst. So I'll show you now where the long crack in Sagaramas is as of we speak right now. 
that crack is uh, that, that crack now has already been established by Yahuwah after the 21st of uh, August after 21st of August a quick 8.1 magnitude not 6.5 all right that fulfilled my prophecy with the crack happening Shagaramas all right so now I'll be taking questions I'm looking on now it, ha it is the worst <laughs> Yeah, once Yahuwah established the water behind the wall. Mm -hmm. All right, so as you can see, here crack up, right? Uh, that is where you see in there, that is in Shagaram. So let's give you some time uh, to listen to the video. All right, again, sometime listen to the video, watch the drawing. <laughs> It, ha it is the worst. Yeah, I'm in. It is the worst. Yeah, I'm in. It, ha it is the worst. Yeah, I'm in. It is the worst. Yeah, I'm in. All right, so uh, we just cut off the volume for that now. All right, we're going to get back into the teaching. I just want to give you all an idea. That is the same crack that we've seen here. Exact drawing, exact, well, this, this happened, exact spot. All right. Uh, this happened exact spot where my draw where where this divine drawing is it happened exact spot guys exact spot make sure that you take screen pick make sure you take screen pick of what you see on the screen because that is what Yahuwah is going to be working with from now on all right make sure you take screen pick of the screen all right as of right now Yahuwah is building the wall all right so no tsunami happens sea draws are coming from the back or not neither the tsunami is coming from the west north or northwest or north south or um or southwest all right the tsunami is coming southwest northwest and uh, from the east all right as well because this is the plan of yahuwah all right is the plan of yahuwah uh, next thing, one what I want to show you all is where the crack is going to happen for. Let me see, point point fourteen. All right, so where you see I doing the coloring here, and uh, this is will be Saparia, right? Saparia. Let me see if we can establish Saparia. They all in the cutoff point. All right. <coughs> All right, this is where it will be established. All right, this is where the crack is. I just want to show you all little, where the crack is there. That is where the crack will appear, okay? Point 14 will be cut off. Mm -hmm. Point 14, Cedrus 
Lucio Sandy Grande cut off. All right, now this is Abba's plan, not my plan. I planned this. This is what he's doing right now. The wall is about. The wall is about. Uh, the wall is about a little, a little, a little above 300 feet because you already have 300 feet of water there. The aim is to get. Uh, 700 to 300 feet of water to gather up there. You can't see the wall. Nobody can see the wall. But the wall is invincible. It's an invincible wall. Alright? This is the only way that a tsunami could happen. This is the only way Yahuwah could establish a tsunami. Sagona side. The only way that he can establish a tsunami is Sagona side. Uh, he can't establish a tsunami, uh, coming that way. You know, he need this, he need a tsunami to do something specific. Alright? So now, I am going to show everybody where it happened in South Trinidad as well. I'm going to show you all where the crack happened in South. See if I can find that. Yeah, the 8.5 could happen during that. All right, uh, guys, I bring up uh, that other video there. All right, as you can see, how the cracks is right. Look where the cracks are. Look very carefully where you see the crack. Look at the color of the soil, though. All right, let's look where the cracks is. All right, look where the crack is, and look where my crack is. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just play the video from the beginning again, alright? So that happened in um, Saparia. I think that happened in Saparia. No, that happened in Saparia. That happened in Los Cerros. Los Cerros. Los Cerros. Uh, Los Cerros is Irene side, I believe. All this happened in Trinidad, and nobody in taking notes. All right, nobody in taking note at all. I taking notes of every single thing that happened around the earth. And Trinidadians don't know the danger that they are in right now. They don't know. No, you listen to Trinidad to bigger weather center and UV seismic. And you listen to them now. Listen to UV seismic. Listen to all of them. You know. Listen to them. Say that's that's that is normal. It's normal for for uh, normal for so much earthquakes to happen in one day. It's normal, right? Yeah, it's normal because all they want people to know that I am the main source. And not only that, they want people to know that I am right and they are wrong. They don't want people to know that. But don't worry, well, Santa, don't worry, don't worry, Mr. Colin. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You're, you're actually playing a racial game. You cut me off, you throw me off, uh, you know, you actually throw me off. You actually throw off your, your page, your couple of pages, your, 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 when I sent a page, you blocked me from commenting. All because I told you, I told you that earthquakes will be happening exactly where Capranio is and where Matron is. He blocked me for that. Right? He blocked me for that. But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It coming, don't worry. Don't matter if you're in Texas, it coming for your ass. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry at all, man. It's a massive, massive, massive loss. Thousands of dollars we just had to put out. We just had to put out 40, 50 thousand dollars before we could get some money here and everything just destroyed with this earthquake. We get a bad, bad serious blow here. 
No transport cannot come in here. My pond, my pond had fish, had talip here, and all had gone through. The pond is one of the main things with the water too, to do water in the crop. So my pump, I have over two pumps irrigation and in the water plant. The hell of excavator went down, a house slide down. We get a little affected like with rain and things, but this earthquake is the worst thing that we ever get. The Minister of Agriculture and the Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley. Yeah, if they could come and give us any financial assistance because we lose everything, we lose all we crop, that's how we live. Yeah, we run, we ask the mentors, we feel very fearful and frightened. feel very fearful and frightened. How come Krishna not helping them? This video was was uh, down, this video was taken by uh, what's his name? By Ivan Tulsi. Archangel Samuel Forts. Yeah, Archangel Samuel. And they make it very clear nobody could predict earthquakes. <laughs> Nobody could predict earthquakes. Nobody could predict earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they make it clear in one of their blogs. Train talk for, for Archangel Samuel. Nobody could predict earthquakes. I'm going to tell you something you besides me. I is the only one who could predict earthquakes. I is the only one who predict everything. Everything that is happening around the earth, as of right now, I predicted it. I prophesied it. I gave it before it ever happened. Before it ever come into play. Before earthquakes ever begin to happen. Especially the Caribbean island, everywhere. No Archangel Samuel falls. No, he can't predict. Nobody can predict earthquakes. Yeah, but he will seismic predicting there will be a big earthquake. I tell him all the other going to die with our next one. Don't worry. Everything is being put in place to drown all your life. Don't worry. All the wait, now man. Don't worry. Sister Rispa, let, let her continue to say we mad. Because you with seismic will never tell them the truth. Will never tell them. Because you with seismic, they don't even know either. They don't know about what's happening. They don't know, they don't have an idea what's going on. It's completely normal. They will tell the public it's totally normal. Right? It's totally normal for tsunamis to happen. It's totally normal. It's totally, it's, it's totally normal for all the evil things going on in Trinidad. All the things going on in the Caribbean islands. It's totally normal. You is seismic and them is full of shit. You understand? And they keep brainwashing the public with science. I am not teaching you science. I am teaching you the foundation of Yahuwah's end time plan to bring destruction upon every nation on the earth. Bet your bottom dollar. I know what I'm saying. So now you witness, now you see for yourself. You see the cracks there. That is in Los Ross. You ain't hear nothing about it on TV6. You ain't hear nothing. After the 21st, it just died down. Everything just died down. These people still suffering down there, by the way. Wow, look at that lovely crack. Look at that crack. Let's look, let's look at the cracks. 
Look at the cracks and look at my crack. Look where I put my crack. Right? Look exactly where Archangel Samuel put his crack. And you will see Archangel Samuel and study you the truth. Just look where the cracks is. Look where the cracks is. You can't deny this. You can't deny that Archangel Samuel is forth. You can't deny that. Alright? You can't deny that. You can't say that Archangel Samuel is false. Alright? You can't. You can't. You can't say. Alright? You can't say. Alright? You can't deny the fact that I am telling you the truth. You understand? But, you yeah, alright? I'll continue now, man. I'll continue. Just look where the crack is. Look where my crack is. Look where their crack is. Look where Abba them crack. Look where they crack up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is false news, right? think we crazy that's what she tried to say she tried to she tried to say crazy they think that we are mad right because ue seismic will never tell them the truth because ue seismic they do they themselves don't even know what's going on yes i'll say they don't know what's going on folks they don't know what's going on all right but i am teaching you the foundation of righteousness i'm teaching you the truth all right they think that we must